Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For the tune days of the games, and of course, breaking news as well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store, and use your promo code SenseTalk, save $20 off your first purchase. Like I said in my previous video, every single week, or every two weeks, I'm going to be posting an update video of the Senators offseason, and in the last week, last, vid- last video was with the Cody CC trade and a couple of signings with free agency. Now we're going to talk about another trade regarding a longtime Senator and a couple of signings. As well. So, firstly, let's get into it. Uh, about four or five days ago, the Sanders traded Zach Smith, the long, longest serving Sander who is currently on the roster, uh, played over 600 games for the Sanders in his 10 year NHL career, for Artem Anisimov uh, from the Chicago Blackhawks. So, comparing the two, uh, this deal firstly gives the Sanders 1.5 more million in cap hit. Like it raises the cap it a bit, and it also lowers money Eugene Melnick owes to the player because the salary bonus is paid, and Zach Smith makes more somehow in the contract. So I think we save money here, but the cap goes up, so it's a win-win for everybody, and the Blackhawks as well save some cap. So it's it's a win-win for everyone. Uh, Artem Anisimov, 78 games played uh, last year, primarily with Kane, 37 points, 15 of those were goals, 22 were assists. Uh, and um, Anisimov, he has a career high of 45 points, I believe. That was two years ago, again, with Chicago. Um, Anisimov is a third line, second, third line center. He's not his top line center, but on a team like Ottawa, he's a good veteran presence who can still score and get some points. Uh, so I expect a 20 goal season out of him because there's not many people that are able to score because we're not a good team. And I, I expect 40 to 45 points again. I, I see him on the second line, in my opinion. Um, and Zach Smith, firstly, thank you for all your service, uh, 10 years in Ottawa, uh, you and your wife have been, uh, devoted to the community, giving back to the community regularly, so I wish you nothing but the best in Chicago, uh, but if you're a Chicago fan watching this, Zach Smith brings you grittiness and toughness, he may not get the points, he had one twenty something goal season a few years ago, but that was an off one, last year, 70 games played, 9 goals, 19 assists, 25 points, um, he's not gonna, 28 points, he's not gonna get you... It's not going to score you a hat-trick every single night, but he will defend your teammates. He will get into the dirty areas and get you the the boards, uh, the, the puck and the boards that you need. He's he's a smart player. He's a good third, fourth line player, and um, he saves some cap space here. So I think this is a good, nice deal for Chicago, a nice deal for Ottawa, but Chicago looking they want to get tougher. They just acquired Andrew Shaw, so Zach Smith fits the bill. Uh, moving forward after a nice trade, I like that trade for Ottawa. I think Ottawa wins that one for sure. A great A for Ottawa. Uh, Senator signed first round uh, draft pick Lassie Thompson to his uh, first NHL contract, the entry level contract. Now, I'd assume this would mean that Lassie Thompson would play in North America next year. I don't know if that would be in the AHL. I don't know if a CHL team owns his rights, which I think would most likely be the scenario that would happen. <clears throat> or he would go maybe to Ottawa and play the NHL right away. Or maybe he's going back to Finland. I don't know, but he did sign his entry-level contract, which makes me think he's probably going to play in North America next year. I don't know where, but we'll have to see. Um, apparently, and I wasn't able to watch it. Obviously, I was away, but apparently in the rookie development camp, he looked really good. So let's see what happens with him, and I'll keep you guys updated. Lastly, Michael Carson. Uh, acquired in the Cody CC trade, a good prospect. I said he could be a, th- a fourth liner most likely in the NHL. A good speedy guy. Signed two years, a two-way deal. Uh, cap hit of 700k in the NHL, be- way below that in the AHL. Nice little signing there. Get the guy you traded for locked up before arbitration. So besides that, that's really all the news. Um, I'll have a video either next week or in the, in the next next week, depending on how much news there is. But yeah, so to wrap it up, Zach Smith was traded for Artem Anisimov. Ottawa won that deal. Sander signed first uh, round pick for Lassie Thompson. Nothing wrong about that. And Michael Carson, Carson signed for two years on a two-way deal. Let's see what he can do. There's going to be plenty of spots available. I'm excited to see what this development camp, uh, this training camp can do uh, before the season starts because there's a lot of spots available for a lot of young players. So let's see what happens. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you either next week or in the week to come. So besides that, thanks for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensetalk underscore. For a lot of days of the games, and of course, breaking news, please like us on Facebook at Sensetalk. Add us to circles on Google plus Sensetalk. Uh, add us to circles on Google plus Sensetalk. Please check out our website, SensetalkCentral.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store, and uh, please like and subscribe. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in a week or two, and go Sensetalk.